Oh, testing out the audio. It's probably as good as it's gonna get. So, I guess we can start. Hey, what's up, guys? My first time you're hearing my voice. Wow, I know, crazy, crazy. But uh, yeah, I had this idea for a video where I make a CMF custom series for Adventure Time because it's like one of my favorite shows ever made. If you haven't seen it, <laughs> you should go watch it. I'm surprised you haven't. But anyways, uh, to start off, I had a couple of honorable mentions. One was being Tiffany. If you don't know who Tiffany is, I think he's introduced in like the first season. Correct. Yeah, that's his name, by the way. It's Tiffany. Why would I be jealous of Tiffany? Because... Tiffany's a boy! <laughs> I would have given him, like, a knife thing for his, like, what he holds. Because, like, uh, the minifigures, they usually hold an item, stuff like that. Anyways, next one would be Marceline's dad, because he's freaking dope. Yo, man. What? Wow. I can imagine him having like uh, Marceline's axe, axe based thing. So yeah, that's what I'd do. And last but not least, I would do the homie Marshall Lee. Because if you didn't know, he was actually voiced by Donald Glover. <laughs> yeah, crazy, right? But if you go back and watch the episode that he's in, yeah, that singing voice. You can definitely hear, hear. Good little girl, always picking a fight with me. You know that I'm bad, but you're spending the night with. All right, well that's pretty much it for the honorable mentions. But to kick off the list, we got King of U Armored Finn, and you probably don't know where that's from. Well, actually, no, nah, it's pretty good armor. But it's basically the episode where Finn has to, like, or well, Finn and Jake have to work for the King of Ooh guy. He kind of looks like he's from the Breakfast Kingdom, but not. But yeah, anyways, I'd give Finn his uh, Finn sword, because that was a pretty cool looking sword to give him. But moving on to number two, I'd do Alien Jake. And Alien Jake is the blue version of Jake. If you play multiverses, then yeah. The alternate skin thing yeah that's jake and for his uh for his item i'd give him a skateboard number three would be your boy lemon grab yes i know <laughs> i know justin roiland is a uh, quite a controversial topic but i still had to add his character in here because lemon grab he was he wasn't a huge part of Adventure Time, but he, uh, he had quite the impact. Must heed my instructions! Take off your things! And for his, uh, his item, I would give him, like, a custom molded sound sword, because I think that'd look dope. I have to use my sound sword now! <laughs> Number four would be Ice King. Now, making this list, I thought of a lot of characters that like haven't already been made out of lego and surprisingly there's not a ice king minifigure so i decided to add him up on the list and for his little item i gave him gunther the penguin because that's his homie you know that's his uh jake or his finn but yeah number five would be fiona and she would be rocking the ruby sword from that episode that's kind of like a trick weapon. Uh, next would be number six, Flame Princess. I'd give her the fire, little fire pieces. I added Flame Princess onto the list because she's a, uh, say she's a kind of big role. I know she's a big role in the uh, Elemental episodes. Plus, she was a pretty cool character. Her rapping, yeah, her, her raps are all right. Yeah, by the way, she raps, but. Uh, number seven, Cake the Cat. And I was honestly 
confused on what I would give her. But I finally decided to just give her the uh, catnip because... <laughs> Because of the little joke that went with that. You know, I had to bring death on here. Not, not Poots and Boots death. That's a, that's a different death. I'm talking about the real death from Adventure Time. And he would have uh, his rake. If you've seen Distant Lands, then you know why I gave him the rake. Number nine would be Minerva. It's kind of a spoiler, but that's Finn's mom. She would have a pin and then a clipboard as her like accessory thing. And then number 10 would be Martin Merton's baby. Now he was a really sad character <laughs> in the show, <laughs> but it, it it's kind of like good that you see what he like was like in the past because that's the version I would put on the CMF series and his items would be the bread wand and <laughs> it'd be cool if they like made a little baby fin that they can like hold on to uh number 11 would be princess bubblegum because you know surprisingly she wasn't made out of lego well i mean they did that one thing but those weren't really many figures but yeah her accessory would be slime princess because you know why not <laughs> Number 12 wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be Ice King, but it'd be Simon Petrikoff. I know I kind of already got him with Gunter, but I thought it'd be cool to have his alternate because, you know, the way I see it, they're like two different characters anyways. But yeah, he would have as an item, he'd have uh, his ice crown and then a picture of him and Marceline because, you know, remember you? <laughs> that episode got me. Idea. Number 13 would be banana guards. Yeah, and I put them on there because, you know, that's Princess Bogum's uh, guards. And they're pretty cool, I guess. They really didn't get much done, but, you know, they left a pretty good impact on the show. I'd say that the most rem rememberable one was uh, banana guard 13. It's kind of funny because he's 13 on the list. But yeah, I'd give him a spear. Moving on, number 14, we'd have uh, Margaret. And for those who don't know, that's G uh, Finn and Jake's mom. Well, dog mom, but yeah. And I'd give her a crossbow with a little hologram thing that she uses to like uh, see how to take care of Jake in that one episode. Because then Jake uses it to try to take care of his puppies. And it's, it's pretty funny. But yeah. Number 15. Number 15. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's old. That's real old. But yeah, I would, I would put on uh, Joshua, J uh, Finn and Jake's dog dad. I mean, you pretty much, they could, uh, could pretty much just get Jake's minifigure and then put a hat on it and then boom, you know? But uh, his accessories, I would want to have him have the uh, demon sword. The one that Finn uses, because that that demon sword, I think that might be my favorite sword that Finn uses. So I had to find a way to put it on here. Uh, and then last but not least, number sixteen, because you know the CMS series, they they kind of been getting smaller and smaller. But yeah, I think that sixteen was like a good number to keep it. Uh, I chose obviously the most devious character in the show i chose the lich and i don't think he really needs any introduction or anything but i can just imagine him being like uh the most scariest minifigure <laughs> that he can own because his freaking face is basically like a skull thingy but yeah i'm surprised that the lich and death never met up that'd be a crazy fight but yeah the lich would be he would hold either have the snail that's like in almost every episode or he'd be holding the Enchiridion I think the Enchiridion would be more up his alley but yeah that's my list all 16 characters with the small little honorable mentions in there uh let me know what else what other franchises I should do I know that I'm thinking of one for like Game of Thrones or maybe making uh part two to this one 
But yeah, this is probably the first time you're hearing my voice. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the last. But uh, if you like it, uh, you know, you know the drill. Subscribe, comment, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah I'll see ya.